and wife conversation discussing balancing career and family life strategies for american couples hey honey do you have a moment to chat i've been feeling a bit overwhelmed lately with work stuff of course sweetie well it just feels like i'm constantly on the go you know between the office and all the projects i'm juggling i feel like i barely have time to catch my breath what's on your mind i hear you it's been pretty hectic for me too Sometimes it feels like we're ships passing in the night with our schedules. Exactly. And I worry that we're not spending enough quality time together as a family. I want to be there for you and the kids, but it's hard when work keeps pulling me away. I know what you mean. I miss having those relaxed evenings together, just hanging out and catching up. It feels like we're always rushing from one thing to the next. That's why I think we need to make a conscious effort to find a better balance between work and family life. I don't want us to look back and realize we missed out on precious moments with each other and the kids. I couldn't agree more. Maybe we can start by carving out some dedicated family time each week, where we can put away our phones and just focus on being present with each other. That sounds like a great idea. And maybe we can also find ways to streamline our routines at home to make things more manageable. I don't want us to be stressed out all the time. Definitely. We can divide up household chores more evenly and maybe even enlist the kids to help out with age-appropriate tasks. And what about work? Do you think there are ways we can make our workdays more efficient so that we're not constantly bringing work home with us? I think so. Maybe we can set boundaries around work hours and try to minimize distractions during the workday so that we can be more focused and productive. I like that idea. It's all about finding that balance between our professional lives and our family life. I want us to thrive in both areas. Me too, sweetie. We'll figure it out together like we always do. Absolutely. I'm grateful to have you as my partner in this crazy journey called life. And I'm grateful to have you. We make a pretty great team, don't we? You know, I was thinking about something the other day. How do you feel about the division of household chores? Do you think we could adjust things to make it more balanced? Hmm, that's a good point. I feel like I've been handling a lot of the household responsibilities lately, especially with the kids' schedules and everything. Maybe we could reassess and see if there are tasks that we can share more equally. I agree. It shouldn't fall solely on your shoulders. We're a team, and that means sharing both the joys and the responsibilities of family life. Let's make a list of all the chores and see how we can divide them up more evenly. That sounds like a plan. And while we're at it, maybe we can involve the kids more in helping out around the house. It'll teach them responsibility and give us some extra hands to lighten the load. That's a great idea. Plus, it'll give us more quality time together as a family when we're all pitching in to keep the house running smoothly. Exactly. Speaking of quality time, I was thinking we should schedule regular date nights for just the two of us. We need to nurture our relationship and reconnect without the distractions of work or household chores. I couldn't agree more. I miss those date nights we used to have before life got so hectic. Let's make it a priority to schedule one night a week where we can focus on each other and strengthen our bond as a couple. I love that idea. And maybe we can also plan some fun activities as a family on the weekends. Whether it's going for a hike, visiting a museum, or just having a picnic in the park, it'll give us something to look forward to and create lasting memories together. Absolutely. I want us to make the most of our time together and create a happy, fulfilling life for our family. And that starts with finding the right balance between work, family, and leisure. Agreed. It's all about finding that sweet spot where we feel fulfilled in every aspect of our lives. With open communication and teamwork, I know we can achieve it. Definitely. I'm grateful to have you as my partner in this journey. Together, there's nothing we can't overcome. And I feel the same way about you. We've got this, babe. Let's take on the world one step at a time. Here's to us, my love. I wouldn't want to navigate this crazy journey with anyone else but you. You know, it's not just about balancing work and family. I've also been thinking about how we can support each other's career goals more effectively. That's a great point. We both have ambitions and dreams outside of our roles as parents and partners. How can we ensure that we're both able to pursue our professional aspirations while still being there for each other and the kids? I think it starts with open communication and a mutual understanding of career priorities. Maybe we can sit down and have a brainstorming session to discuss our individual career goals and how we can support each other in achieving them. I like that idea. It's important for us to be each other's biggest cheerleaders and to celebrate each other's successes no matter how big or small. Absolutely. Maybe we can also look for ways to create more flexibility in our schedules 
so that we have the freedom to pursue our passions outside of work. Flexibility would be key, especially with the kids' school activities and extracurriculars. Maybe we can explore options like flexible work hours, remote work opportunities, or even job sharing arrangements. Those are all great suggestions. I think it's about finding a balance between our professional aspirations and our family commitments, and being willing to adapt and compromise when necessary. Definitely. And let's not forget the importance of self care and personal development. Maybe we can encourage each other to pursue hobbies or interests outside of work that bring us joy and fulfillment. I love that idea. We need to prioritize our own well being and personal growth not just for ourselves, but also for the benefit of our relationship and our family. Absolutely. At the end of the day, it's all about finding harmony between our careers, our family life, and our fulfillment. And I do not doubt that together, we can achieve it. Agreed. We've faced challenges before, and we've always come out stronger on the other side. With love, communication, and a shared commitment to our goals, there's nothing we can't accomplish together. Here's to us, my love to a future filled with endless possibilities and boundless love. Cheers to that, sweetheart. I love you more than words can express. And I love you more than you'll ever know. Navigating finances together. Budgeting tips for American couples. Honey, I've been thinking a lot about our finances lately. With all the expenses piling up, I'm worried we're not saving enough for the future. I know. It's been on my mind, too. Between the mortgage, bills, and everything else, it feels like our money disappears faster than we can earn it. Exactly. I think we need to come up with a solid budgeting plan to help us manage our expenses more effectively and start saving for our long-term goals. Agreed. Maybe we can start by tracking our expenses for a month to see where our money is going. That way, we can identify areas where we can cut back and save more. That sounds like a good idea. And maybe we can also set up separate savings accounts for specific goals like buying a house or planning for retirement. I like that idea. It'll help us stay focused on our financial goals and avoid dipping into our savings for unnecessary expenses. And what about investing? Do you think we should start investing our money to help it grow over time? It's something we should look into. Maybe we can speak to a financial advisor to get some guidance on the best investment options for us. That sounds like a plan. And while we're at it, maybe we can also look into ways to increase our income whether it's through side hustles or advancing in our careers. I'm all for that. The more money we can bring in, the more we can save and invest in our future. Exactly. And let's not forget about building up our emergency savings. Having a rainy day fund will give us peace of mind knowing that we're prepared for unexpected expenses. Good point. Having an emergency fund will give us peace of mind knowing that we're prepared for whatever life throws our way. Agreed. I'm glad we're having this conversation. It feels good to be proactive about our financial future and work together towards our goals. Agreed. We make a great team, and I do not doubt that together we can achieve our financial goals and secure a bright future for our family. Cheers to that, honey. Here's to smart financial decisions and a secure future for our family. Cheers to that, sweetheart. Let's make our money work for us and build the life of our dreams. You know, I was looking at our expenses from last month, and I think we could be more mindful about where our money is going. Yeah, I've had the same concern. With expenses constantly popping up, it's hard to keep track of where our money is going. That's a good idea. We could start by categorizing our expenses and seeing where we can make cuts. Do you think we should set a limit for certain categories like dining out or entertainment? Agreed. Maybe we can start by cutting back on some unnecessary expenses like eating out or subscription services we don't use. That's a great idea. Every little bit helps, especially when it comes to reaching our financial goals. Speaking of which, do you think we should revisit our savings plan? Definitely. Having separate accounts will make it easier to track our progress towards each goal and avoid dipping into our savings for other expenses. It's something we should consider. I've been doing some research on investment options, and I think it could be a good way to grow our money over time. We should look into it further and maybe even speak to a financial advisor for advice. Sounds like a plan. And let's not forget about emergency savings. Having a cushion for unexpected expenses is crucial for our peace of mind. Absolutely. It's important to be prepared for whatever life throws our way. I'm glad we're having this conversation and taking proactive steps towards our financial future. Me too. We make a great team, and I do not doubt that together, we can achieve our goals and build the life we've always dreamed of. Cheers to that, honey. 
Here's to smart financial decisions and a bright future ahead. Cheers to us, sweetheart. Let's make our money work for us and turn our dreams into reality. In this video, you will learn about American conversations that they do in their daily life. Let's go. Planning the perfect American road trip. Tips for couples. Exploring the USA. Let's plan an epic road trip across the USA. Sounds awesome. Where do we start? We should decide on our route first. How about starting from the East Coast and heading west? Great idea. We can visit New York City and then head to Chicago. And from Chicago, we can drive along Route 66. Perfect! Route 66 has so many iconic stops. Let's include some national parks like Yellowstone and Grand Canyon. Definitely. They're must-see destinations. We should also check out some unique spots like Austin and New Orleans. Absolutely. The culture and food there are amazing. How about planning our budget? We need to save on lodging. We can mix camping with budget-friendly motels and Airbnb stays. For meals, we can pack a cooler and have picnics to save money. And try local diners and food trucks for some meals. Do we need to book anything in advance? Yes, especially for popular national parks and weekend stays. We should also have a playlist ready for the drive. Totally. Music makes the road trip more fun. What about car maintenance? We should get a checkup before we leave. Good point. And pack an emergency kit just in case. Let's also download some travel apps for navigation and finding attractions. Great idea. They can help us find hidden gems along the way. I'm so excited about this adventure. Me too. It's going to be an unforgettable journey. How about planning our budget? We need to save on lodging. We can mix camping with budget-friendly motels and Airbnb stays. For meals, we can pack a cooler and have picnics to save money. And try local diners and food trucks for some meals. Do we need to book anything in advance? Yes, especially for popular national parks and weekend stays. We should also have a playlist ready for the drive. Totally. Music makes the road trip more fun. What about car maintenance? We should get a checkup before we leave. Good point. And pack an emergency kit just in case. Let's also download some travel apps for navigation and finding attractions. Great idea. They can help us find hidden gems along the way. We should plan for some downtime too, like beach stops or small town visits. Absolutely. It's important to relax and enjoy the journey. How about tracking our budget with an app to avoid overspending? Smart move. It'll help us stay on track and maybe splurge on special experiences. Do we need any special gear for camping? Just the basics. A tent, sleeping bags, and a portable stove. We should also think about safety. What if we get a flat tire? We'll bring a spare tire and jack and make sure our insurance covers roadside assistance. I'm so excited about this adventure. Me too. It's going to be an unforgettable journey. We should keep a journal or vlog our trip. Great idea. It'll be fun to look back on our memories. Let's also look for local festivals or events happening along our route. That could add some unexpected fun to our trip. We should try to wake up early to catch some sunrises in beautiful spots. Yes, and maybe some sunset views with a nice picnic. What about staying connected with family and friends? We can check in regularly and share updates on social media. I can't wait to start this adventure with you. Same here. It's going to be the trip of a lifetime. How about exploring some historic sites like Mount Rushmore or the Alamo? Great idea. It's a wonderful way to learn and enjoy the trip. We should pack some games and books for downtime. Yes, and maybe a camera for capturing all the moments. What if we plan some surprise stops for each other along the way? I love that. It'll keep the adventure full of surprises. How about checking out some local farmer's markets for fresh snacks? Perfect. Fresh and local produce can be a great treat. We need to ensure we have a mix of activities like hiking and city exploring. Totally. Balance is key to keeping the trip exciting. Let's also research some free attractions and activities in each city. Good call. There are usually plenty of great options that don't cost a thing. What about staying environmentally friendly? We can bring reusable water bottles and bags. Do we need to think about any permits or passes for national parks? Yes. Let's check online for any necessary permits or passes ahead of time. I'm excited to try some local coffee shops in each city. Same here. Each place has its unique flavor. We should also try to do some volunteer work or community activities along the way. That's a wonderful idea. Giving back while traveling makes the journey even more meaningful. How about planning a few splurge activities like a hot air balloon ride or a fancy dinner? Definitely. Those special moments will be worth it. We could also look for scenic byways and off-the-beaten-path routes. Yes, the journey is just as important as the destination. 
Should we bring our bikes for some cycling adventures? Good idea. It'll be a fun way to explore some areas. Let's also make a checklist of essential items to pack. Right. We can't forget things like sunscreen, hats, and comfy shoes. What about using a travel journal to document our experiences? That's a great way to remember our adventures and thoughts along the way. We should also download some offline maps in case we lose signal. Smart thinking. That way we won't get lost in remote areas. How about planning some stargazing nights? Some places have incredible night skies. That sounds magical. We can bring a telescope or binoculars. We should be mindful of our travel pace so we don't get too tired. Absolutely. Balancing drive time and relaxation is key. Do we need to consider travel insurance for the trip? Yes, it's a good safety net for unexpected events. We should look for some quirky roadside attractions along the way. Those are always fun and make for great photo ops. How about keeping an eye out for local music or art scenes? Yes, local culture can add so much to our experience. I'm looking forward to trying different regional cuisines. Same here. Each place has its unique dishes. We should also think about sustainable travel practices. Good point. Let's try to minimize our footprint. How about planning some themed days, like a beach day or a mountain day? That sounds fun. It'll keep things varied and interesting. We should check out some travel blogs for tips and hidden gems. Great idea. Other travelers' experiences can be really helpful. I can't wait to start this journey with you. Me too. It's going to be an incredible adventure. How about planning a few splurge activities, like a hot air balloon ride or a fancy dinner? Definitely. Those special moments will be worth it. We could also look for scenic byways and off-the-beaten-path routes. Yes, the journey is just as important as the destination. Should we bring our bikes for some cycling adventures? Good idea. It'll be a fun way to explore some areas. Let's also make a checklist of essential items to pack. Right. We can't forget things like sunscreen, hats, and comfy shoes. What about using a travel journal to document our experiences? That's a great way to remember our adventures and thoughts along the way. We should also download some offline maps in case we lose signal. Smart thinking. That way we won't get lost in remote areas. How about planning some stargazing nights? Some places have incredible night skies. That sounds magical. We can bring a telescope or binoculars. We should be mindful of our travel pace so we don't get too tired. Absolutely. Balancing drive time and relaxation is key. Do we need to consider travel insurance for the trip? Yes, it's a good safety net for unexpected events. We should look for some quirky roadside attractions along the way. Those are always fun and make for great photo ops. How about keeping an eye out for local music or art scenes? Yes, local culture can add so much to our experience. I'm looking forward to trying different regional cuisines. Same here. Each place has its unique dishes. We should also think about sustainable travel practices. Good point. Let's try to minimize our footprint. Healthy living habits for American couples. Prioritizing wellness together. Hey, Sarah, I've been thinking. We should start prioritizing our health more as a couple. I couldn't agree more, Jack. Both of us need to focus on staying healthy. I was thinking we could start by incorporating more exercise into our routine. That sounds like a great idea. Maybe we could go for a walk or hike together a few times a week. Definitely. And we could also try some home workouts together. I heard they can be effective. That's a good point. It would save us time and money on gym memberships. For sure. And what about cooking healthier meals? We could experiment with new recipes together. I love that idea. Cooking together could be a fun way to bond and eat better. Plus, we'll have more control over what ingredients we use, so we can make sure our meals are nutritious. Exactly. And it'll be a lot cheaper than eating out all the time. Another thing we should focus on is managing stress. Maybe we could try meditating together. I've heard meditation can work wonders for reducing stress. Let's give it a try. We could also plan some relaxing activities together, like going for a massage or taking a yoga class. That sounds heavenly. It's important to take time to unwind and de-stress. And let's not forget about getting enough sleep. Maybe we could establish a bedtime routine to help us wind down. Good idea. A consistent sleep schedule can do wonders for our overall health. Overall, I think if we prioritize our health as a couple, we'll both feel happier and more fulfilled. That's a great idea, Jack.
I was thinking we could also set some specific health goals together. It could help keep us motivated. Maybe we could aim to run a 5K together or try a new sport. Definitely. Having a goal to work towards can give us something to focus on and celebrate together. We hope you found this English conversation insightful and enjoyable.